All right, guys, what's up? It's Woody That Glass Guy. I'm back. If you clicked on the video, you already know what we're making today. Here it is. I'm making a bubble cap. Custom bubble cap. Everything you see here is made by hand. And we're going to get into it right now. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so today we're going to be making a mahi-mahi bubble cap. A mahi-mahi is a fish that looks just like this. Hopefully this guy doesn't sue me for using his picture. But there we go. That's the fish. And what I'm trying to represent is it jumping out the water like that. You see those white strips of water coming out? That's what I'm trying to represent with the blue and the white caps on the glass. And this is how the mahi-mahi looks cooked. <laughs> if you never ate mahi mahi, you should try it. Well, um, it's called mahi or also dolphins it is known as well. Alright, so here what you see me holding is yellow frit. It's basically glass broken down in little pieces, allowing me to color up a piece that I want. So the piece that I want yellow today is the mahi, because half of it's green and half of it's yellow. I'm going to add some green little dots. So I'm going to add a little bit of green frit. And I'm also going to add a little bit of aqua. Just notice how in the picture here, you see those dots? That's what I want to mimic. Alright, so we're moving on. Turning on the torch, getting it ready. And boom, this is how it's going to start. I'm going to get a rod of glass, and I'm going to gather it. Making sure I'm melting it all. Getting no air bubbles. Trying to melt it all nice and pretty. Remember, pretty doesn't crack. Because crack is whack. Nobody wants crack. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Now I got a nice section. I have a handle towards it. And I'm putting it into the frit. See how that picks it up? So now I'm going to continue doing this. Until I have enough. Because notice, I, just, I want a whole bottom of yellow. Just doing one dip is not enough. You feel me? So now I'm squishing it. Making sure everything's nice and even. And now I want to add another layer of yellow just to make it the division of green and yellow more pronounced. So that's that's how I'm getting right here. All right. So now once I have the yellow and the green settled, I want to add a little bit of aqua. So right here, I'm layering some aqua strips to allow me to get some aqua stripes, not strips. <laughs> so now I got some aqua dots on there, layering it up. And once I got enough dots I want, now I'm just going to melt it in. Here, after melting it in and making it all pretty, now this comes the fun part. Now I got to make a, a fish out of this thing. Here you see me stretching it. And when I'm stretching it, what I have in my mind is I want to keep one side fatter than the other. Because notice how the shape of the fish is. It's right here. You see how the, the tail gets more narrow? So notice how I'm doing it right here. I'm needing this, the front side, more like the head shape, and the bottom is going to be the tail. So I'm already shaping it. Right here I cut off my handle, and now I get a pair of scissors to make the tail. Check this out. Boom. I cut that. Choo! Now cutting it gives me that effect, but now i got to go ahead and squish it and make it look like this. So I squish it, shape it up. Now it's like that. I'm fast forwarding a lot just to skip out because I don't want you guys spending hours watching me do this thing. Here, now I have to do a special type of bridge, a special type of handle to hold it for by the tail. Because if I hold it just on one side, it's going to get lumpy and I don't want it to be like that when I'm working on it. So right here, I'm going to start adding the dorsal fin. Or if I'm saying, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. What's the top part of the fish? Just leave it down in the comments if I said it right. All right, so now I'm adding the dorsal fin and all the fins on the side and the bottom. So here you see me carving in the gills and I already carved in the face, the mouth. Next, I'm going to Put the eyes here it goes Boop. i already have one side on and the other one on it as well now here was the most annoying part honestly for me was making these little fins because one side was a little was 
was a little longer than the other and I spent a long time trying to get them perfect but I finally did it check it out it took forever to do this <laughs> I hope you guys appreciate it and for those that still are watching thank you don't forget to subscribe look at that so right here I'm holding it I'm super happy with it but I'm looking at it I'm like damn I need a little bit more detail so I take it out and get the scissors and I start doing this right here I'm adding a little bit more detail on the top fin you're gonna see what that does boom you see the detail it gives it it looks alive Oh my god, it's not that type of show. I'm just playing. <laughs> this is Star White Powder. It's another glass frit. And I'm, what I'm going to be using this for is the effect of the water breaking. Just like this, you see here how the mahi's jumping out the water. And you see how the water is just like psh, the white fuzz. That's what I'm trying to mimic with the glass. So what I did is I got a, I got a big puck of blue and I melted it. And now I'm putting the white over it. And I'm making the, I'm letting the white bubble, and you're gonna see what the effect is gonna have it right here. You see, I let the white just bubble, and it gave me this effect of like the fuzz of, over the water. So now I'm gonna make, now that I have the prep of the wave, or the splash, now I'm gonna make the splash itself. So I'm stretching it. Now I look at it, I'm like, ah, it looks, it leaves a little something. So I'm stretching it to the side, and I'm gonna stretch the other side as well. Check this out. So this is how it looks now. After shaping it and such. Boom. Now I put it on the bubble. I'm going to take another video on another time and show you how to make a perfect bubble. But for now, this is just focusing on the, on the Mahi Mahi. So right here, you see me attaching it. I notice that I'm also when I'm attaching it, I'm gonna attach the back fin as well towards the water. Now I'm making the, the tail a little bit wavy just to give it more effect of it jumping out the water. Boom, let me know how it looks for real. Let me know what you guys think. Does it look like a Mahi Mahi jumping out the water? Was that successful? Let me know in the comments. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm going to be giving out away a piece when I once I hit a thousand subscribers for the Opal Club. Let's check it out. Here it is. Yo, and a special shout out to my boy Heifer. Heifer Garcia, he just started a YouTube showing off his Call of Duty clips. Go check it out. This guy is crazy, bro. Foot, baby. <laughs> I got to represent. Go check it out. I'm not even playing, bro. This guy is nuts. Brrrr.